What have you done, Guri? <laughs> hi guys hi and welcome welcome all right so i know you read the title but i'm gonna tell you anyway we are going to be doing roller sets for the first time i am a little excited and quite a bit nervous to see how this will work out so let's stick around to see how that will work out so i'm starting off on freshly washed hair and going in with my leave-in conditioner done okay and now I am ready to begin. Oh no wait, products. This is the Care Scrunching Mousse. This was my holding product that I used. And this is the hair oil by Vatica that I used to separate the curls at the end. And these are my rollers, you guys. I got these from Checkers and I got them for 15 rand a pack. They are 10 in each pack. To begin with, I took a small section of hair, finger detangled it. And I also went in with my fine tooth comb. If you are not comfortable doing this, then by all means use a wider tooth comb. I just wanted to make sure that my ends would be as detangled as they possibly would be. And I felt the smaller tooth comb would help me out with that. So I just grabbed my mousse and smoothed it all over my hair, making sure that it is on every strand. Grab your roller and beginning with the ends, making sure that they are smoothed out to make sure that you get the best outcome as possible. You want to make sure that your ends are proper, okay? And this is me just trying to find the hole. And as soon as you find it, just stick the pin through and it will stay. I was so shocked, you guys. Okay, that's the first section done. Second section done. And now moving on to the front, I want to show you guys how I actually get these done, okay? At this point, I had gotten the hang of it and I just wanted to show you guys how it works. So sit back, relax and learn. A quick tip for when you are sticking the pins through to avoid everything just sticking out all over the place you just want to make sure that when you are pushing your pin through a current roller that you let it slide over to the previous one so that the pins are not just sticking out all over because I noticed at the end that this will it will ruin your headscarf or your bonnet that you're going to put over this as you wait for it to dry or when you are going to bed with this.
all done okay so this is what it looked like when i had all 40 rollers in my hair i only bought four packs so i did run out and i needed to make bunty nods at the end these were really funky bunty nods my sister like i really needed her help at this moment but yeah i just gave it some time and i'll see you tomorrow good morning you guys um i know the lighting is different i'm so sorry but it's early in the morning and the sun isn't even out yet and yeah okay i can't help you there i'm so sorry but yeah good morning and i am here to speak to you personally not over the voiceover mm -mm. i need you to hear this as i feel it guys these things are dangerous okay these things took my sleep away from me they took the comfort away from my scalp and they also sliced my fingers like i'm not sure if you guys can see that i have cuts on my fingers and poked my thumb you know my thumb has these little holes that they have on them guys it's a lot okay so i would advise do it in the morning and take it out later because they did dry really quickly i won't lie they dry really quickly i was just extra and i was like no i'm gonna sleep in them you know i want it to be the best it can be but i don't advise it okay i don't advise it it was poking my scalp and i'm just praying my scalp was not bleeding all right okay but yeah all the bad stuff aside this thing better be good okay <laughs> if it took my sleep away it better be good all right so yeah i'm just gonna do the takedown now and yeah i will see you guys right after <laughs> But let us talk about the smooths while we're at it you guys okay so at this point you know i'm taking them out yeah it was kind of painful by the way but you know i'm realizing that no man my hair isn't feeling hard and i've used styling products before you know we don't love the hardness but there must be some kind of hardness to it and there wasn't any so the whole for this mousse was not great okay this did not last i will tell you right now even before you see the final result it did not last and it was flaking i did you will see as i show you guys the close-ups uh, that i did have quite a bit of flaking which i was very disappointed about in this and the hold just did not last at all Okay, so here's a close-up of right after I took out the rods, the rollers, before I separated. And yeah, at the center, don't don't be like me, kids, right? Do not make your sections too big at the center. Don't be lazy because as you guys just witnessed, the center is not looking cute. So I just grabbed the oil and... I start to separate just kind of twirl the sections after you separate them to give them their curl back and continue in that way for the rest of the hair Okay, so now you are about to witness me just trying to style it. This is just an idea for you guys to try out if you do end up trying this hairstyle. These 
roll your sets out then you have you know at least one hairstyle that you can do with them of course using a different mousse and if you do end up trying this hairstyle please 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 do show me by sharing it in your instagram story post and do tag me so i will be sure to see it the hairstyle is pretty self-explanatory just make a section of hair on the side and pin it up just grab i just grabbed my afro comb just to make sure everything was looking cohesive you know to get rid of the parts from the sections and also maybe get a bit more volume I did go back with this edge control to fix the side because you can see it looks a little different now because it wasn't as neat before I put the edge control in it and that is the final look you guys Oh, and also this pin I got from Cotton On. Yeah, I got them in a pack of two. I did get a couple of others. They were really cheap. They were like 30 rand. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. Do not forget that God loves you. And I love you. I love you. I love you. Bye.